Saturn, the ring planet. In the previous video, we have learned about Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. If you haven't seen that video, go and watch, link in the description. Today, we are going to learn about Saturn. So, let's start. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun, and the second largest planet of the solar system, second only to Jupiter. With a radius of 36,183.7 miles, Saturn is nine times wider than the Earth. Nine Earths side by side would almost span Saturn's diameter. That doesn't include Saturn's rings. The surface area is about 83 times bigger than our planet, and the mass of Saturn is about 95 times greater, of which, about two tons of mass came from Earth. The Cassini spacecraft was intentionally vaporized in Saturn's atmosphere in 2017. Though the volume of Saturn is about 764 times that of Earth, it is the least dense planet in the solar system. Earth is eight times denser than Saturn, and if it would have a surface, the gravity would be similar. Saturn has the lowest density of all the planets 687 kilograms per cubic meter. It is lighter than water. Thus if placed on water, it would float. Saturn took shape when the rest of the solar system formed, about 4.5 billion years ago. Saturn's atmosphere is composed primarily of 96% hydrogen, and 3% of helium, with traces amount of other substances like, methane, ammonia, acetylene, ethane, propane, and phosphine. From an average distance of 886 million miles, Saturn is 9.5 astronomical units away from the Sun. From this distance, it takes 1 hour 20 minutes for sunlight to travel from the Sun to Saturn. Saturn has the second shortest day in the solar system. It takes about 10.7 hours to rotate on its axis once, a Saturn day. And take 29 Earth years to make a complete orbit around the Sun. Its axis is tilted by 26.73 degrees with respect to its orbit around the Sun, which is similar to Earth's 23.5 degree tilt. This means that, like Earth, Saturn experiences seasons. Saturn is a gas giant planet and therefore doesn't have a solid surface like Earth's. But it might have a solid core somewhere in there. It does have a dense core in the center, composed out of water, ice, and rocky materials, but no actual landmass. The interior is very hot at the core, 11,700 degrees Celsius. It is estimated that, the core's mass is about 9 to 22 times bigger than that of Earth. It is enveloped by liquid metallic hydrogen layer, followed by liquid layer of helium-saturated molecular hydrogen layer, with traces of various ices. Saturn's upper atmosphere is divided into three layers of clouds. The upper layers of ammonia ice have temperatures ranging from minus 173 degrees Celsius to minus 113 degrees Celsius. The next layer contains water ice, with temperatures from minus 88 degrees Celsius to minus 3 degrees Celsius. Below are layers of cold hydrogen and sulfur ice mixtures. Temperatures in the lower layers climb as high as 57 degrees Celsius. Equipped with thousands of beautiful ringlets, Saturn is unique among the planets. As we learned in previous video that it is not the only planet to have rings. But Saturn has the most spectacular ring system. Saturn's rings are thought to be pieces of comets, asteroids or shattered moons. They are made of billions of small chunks of ice and rock. The ring particles mostly range from tiny, dust-sized icy grains, to chunks as large as mountains. Saturn's ring system extends up to 175,000 miles from the planet, yet the vertical height is typically about 30 feet in the main rings. Saturn's rings are divided into seven groups, named alphabetically in the order they were discovered. Starting at Saturn and moving outward, there is the D-ring, C-ring, B-ring, Cassini division, O-ring, F-ring, G-ring, and finally, the ring The rings are relatively close to each other, with the exception of a gap measuring 2,920 miles wide, called the Cassini division, that separates rings A and B. The main rings are A, B and C. Rings D, E, F and G are fainter and more recently discovered. 
Did you know? Twice every 29 and a half years the great planet Saturn appears ringless. This is an optical illusion when Saturn rings at its edge, the Earthlings cannot see those rings from the Earth. They are barely visible through powerful telescopes. It is estimated that Saturn will lose its rings in about 100 million years. The rings are being pulled into Saturn by gravity in the form of dusty rain of snow particles under the influence of Saturn's magnetic field. This phenomenon is often called ring rain. Saturn has 82 moons, out of which 53 moons have been confirmed, and 29 moons are waiting for confirmation of their names. Saturn has seven major satellites with one of them being even bigger than the planet Mercury. Titan is the first discovered moon of Saturn. It is larger than the planet Mercury, and is the second largest moon in our solar system. Titan is the only place besides Earth known to have liquids in the form of rivers, lakes and seas on its surface. Hyperion is the first non-round moon to be discovered in the solar system. It has a diameter of about 75.54 miles, making it one of the largest known bodies of highly irregular shape in the solar system. Enceladus, is the sixth largest moon of Saturn with a diameter of around 310 miles. This moon is mostly covered by fresh, clean ice, making it one of the most reflective bodies of the solar system. Tethys is the third largest inner moon of Saturn. It has the lowest density out of all the moons, it is primarily made out of water, and a small fraction of rock. Dion is the second largest inner moon of Saturn. It has a higher density than the geologically dead Rhea, the largest inner moon but lower than that of active Enceladus. Rhea is the second largest moon of Saturn, and the ninth largest in the solar system. Iapetus is the third largest moon of Saturn. Iapetus orbits Saturn at a distance of 2.1 million miles. As we know that the environment of Saturn is not helpful for life. But this is not true of many of its moons. Satellites such as the Enceladus and Titan, home of the inner seas, could possibly support life. Only four spacecraft sent from Earth have ever visited Saturn, and three of these were just brief flybys. The first was Pioneer 11, in 1979. Next came Voyager 1 in 1980, and then Voyager 2 in 1981. It wasn't until Cassini's arrival in 2004, that a spacecraft actually went into orbit around Saturn, and captured photographs of the planet and its rings and moons. Unfortunately, there are no future plans to send any more spacecraft to Saturn. Saturn is the farthest planet among the five visible planets, that can be viewed through binoculars, or a small telescope. It is the fifth brightest object in the solar system. Now it's time to wrap up what we have learned in this video. Thanks for watching. In next video we will learn about Uranus. Till then take care and keep watching. But don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel for more. Thank you.